Ready? Two. Thank you. Please be seated. On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Navy, and our grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved ones, honorable and faithful service.
Seattle State Theater Cemetery, please accept this coin as a token of this my cousin's service and sacrifice he made for our country. Folks, the time is now yours until the bottom of the hour. in the church that one of you one of you goes to and she's asked me to uh, conduct just the uh, uh, last portion of uh, this service and um, we will uh, have a uh, opening prayer um, by Blair Cheney who's also a minister in, um, in our church and then we will have a, a reading of obituary by Darren Rizika and then um, we will have any other comments that anybody would like to make. And uh, after that, we'll have a closing prayer by Stanley Smith. And then she's asked me to um, dedicate the resting place of Samuel's, uh, Sam's body. And, um, and that will be the end of the service. Blair. Dear Heavenly Father, we are gathered this day to honor our friend, family member, one who has served all the new one. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for his life and for all the association that we had with him. We pray that thou will bless us, that we will honor him by keeping his memory sacred. And we say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Monty Samuel Kerr died September 26, 2023 of brain cancer. He was born October 11, 1940 to Montel and Frankie Kerr in Arkansas. He spent his childhood playing on the banks of the Clearwater River in Kuski, Idaho with siblings Ion and Denton and their dog Cooch. The family moved to Boise, Idaho when he was 12 years old but that simple country life never left him. He entered the Navy when he was 17 years old and spent three years in the service. He was able to travel the world and was honorably discharged. After his service, he married Sharon Hikes and became father to Stanley. Later, daughter Shane completed the family. After their divorce, he married Juanita Cook, and Damon was born into that family. He worked for Tennyson Transfer and Storage, Garrett Crate Lines, and finally United Parcel Service. He put in three million miles pulling triple trailers for UPS. He retired at age 59, ready to enjoy the outdoors that he loved so much. He loved to hunt, beginning in his teenage years. He spent most seasons on Cody Mountain near Council Idaho. In earlier years, he hunted birds with his special dog, Jolie. He enjoyed restoring classic cars, the last one being his pride and joy, a 1967 El Camino. He belonged to the Idaho Chariots Car Club. Being the industrious person that he was, he spent many weekends in the mountains cutting firewood for the house in Boise, which was its sole heating source for many years. He enjoyed golfing. He and his best friend, Ken Richardson, would get out as often as they could. He is survived by his wife, Juanita, and Damon, Shane, and Stanley, brother Denton and sister Candy, 
and their many grandchildren, nieces and nephews. He is preceded in death by his father, mother, and sister Ion. We have had many memories and adventures through the years, but the biggest was preparing him to go home. So not in terms of I know it's kind of a hard time for everybody, um, but also a blessing in many ways. Uh, for next to my cousins I haven't seen forever. I got my grandmother and my mom. Um, this is my grandfather, and uh, there's many times uh, I wish I could take back all the time I've done in car for to be able to go fishing with them and uh, be able to just be there, be that grandson that you know I could have been, but. Uh, I guess just maybe mix up for just uh, I know it's in a better place. I know that uh, times are hard and that uh, this is where we get together and uh, reunite with each other. Maybe you guys have each other doing in life and uh, be there for one another and uh, you know, just be able to lift people up, love them to life, you know. So, that being said, thank you guys for coming to my grandpa's funeral and I uh, appreciate you guys all here and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'm Stan. Sam's first boy and I want to thank Juanita and Damon for welcoming me and my family in their lives. Um, I've lost both my mother and really the only dad I ever had growing up. The memories I do have as a kid are surrounded around Sam for the few short years that I got to spend with him until I think I was about 10. Darren Rizika, um, I think we used to play together when you guys lived there across from South Junior High. That's right. Yeah, Denny. I remember having a foot race with you down the old oil road right in front of our house on Virginia. Um, I think I lost. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't recognize anybody's face, but I just I take this chance, much like Joey, um, his family. Before Dad passed away, Sorry, I've been doing this a lot lately. My wife and I, Lenise, who's my high school sweetheart, we've been married 42 years, had the opportunity to come and introduce my family of 28 to Sam and Juanita. Only two of my girls, I have seven daughters and 15 grandkids. And he got to meet every one of them. Isn't that something? So I know of all the things that we get to take with us when we go to heaven are our good memories. And I hope that I gave him a few as like you all did. I hope whoever you are 
if you remember me, please say hi, because there's a few names just like Darren Rizika and, and Denny um, that I do recognize. So thank you. Thank you all. And I love you guys. Thank you, Stan.